just so there's no confusion. Also, bloody, bloody hell, like, she is supposed to be, she is supposed to be my chick magnet, right? Like, that's not the whole point, that's part of the point, that's a partial point. Like, she's meant to attract the totty, and uh, when does she attract the totty? Oh, she attracts the totty when I'm in the shop, you know, in the queue, waiting to buy some beer, which I probably shouldn't be doing because I'm trying to work off the beer belly for the totty. But nevertheless, okay, right, so the cute girls are, are, are petting her while I'm inside in the queue, and they're gone by the time I come out. Screw, they, they bogged off, basically. And when, when she's with me, all she attracts is like grannies, frankly. <sighs> Hi, everyone. Yes, talking about you, young lady. Oh, is that a belly? Huh? You think you get a belly rub? You think you get a belly rub? What? What? Really? You think you get a belly rub? No, you're not going to get a belly rub. No, you're not going to get a belly rub. Yes, okay, you get a belly rub. Oh, dear. Hi! Um, so welcome indeed everyone. So uh, a quick update on the YouTube side of things. It's the second week of work on hopefully four weeks on Holdfast Nations at War Bullshittery. Um, so it's only day two of the second week. My objective today, so sorry, uh, going back. Last week I assembled the bullshittery. So I've got clips of it on a timeline. Bit rough to be fair. Uh, and now my objective this week is to get through the first five minutes of the editing. So it's about ten minutes in total, in theory. And um, I'm trying to get through the first five minutes and then next week the next five minutes. I'm not doing well, frankly. I should be, by day two, on the second minute. I'm not. I'm on pretty much exactly one minute. Uh, so this morning, the update this morning, I was 43 seconds in. So I've not done much. It's not for lack of trying. It's just the fucking segments that I'm working on are just so complicated. Um, I was doing this one sequence and it's like, uh, like it's two guys talking on a bridge and here's my here's my dilemma. Um, so I keep mentioning this like every fucking thing. So not only are visual effects quite complicated but also this is like live stream footage. I have no idea when someone is gonna say something funny. So the angle is wrong and like my camera is swinging left and right and you can't do a reshoot because this was fucking like two years ago. Um, two randoms on a bridge were having an argument and it was funny because all they did was just scream the word fuck you at each other in, in sort of a melodic uh, cascade of, of, of like a, it was a musical argument that they had. Anyway, so the point is my camera's swinging back and forth and like some asshole with a flag is like deliberately waving his flag in front of one of the guys. So I have no point of auto tracking. So it's all manual. So I'm sitting here keyframing this fucking null object, going fuck off. You know this guy waving a flag. He doesn't know. He, he, it's not his fault. He he has no idea. He's interfering with my keyframe tracking. <sighs> Thank you, Blue Seer. Holy shit. Thank you, Blue Seer, for the 64 months. 64 months. Fuck a duck. Thank you. And Callum before that for the 56 months. Thank you, all of you. Um, so, yeah, I'm fucking... <laughs> I need this coffee, to be honest. It's been a really busy day of just, like, manual keyframing, frame by frame. And then I put the text in, and it wasn't very interesting. Uh, so I was just trying to be honest. It was a bit flat, so I'm like, okay, I need to animate it and make it a bit sexier, I think. Uh, much more interesting to look at. Uh, it's all well and good just reading something, but I want it to... I want it to... I want it to sizzle. Uh, thank you, Average Ginger Nut. Thank you very much, Average. This young lady has been A-OK. -okay. We just got back from our walkies, where she went up a big hill and down again. She smelled all the smells. Yes. And also, rarely, she's quite clean. She had a bath, what was it, Yes. Wait. yesterday evening? Yesterday afternoon? And she hasn't rolled in dust or dirt, so... She smells of flowers, and she's quite clean. Would you like a treat? Can we go have a treat? Hang on. Uh, oh, I've got a biscuit in my pocket. Would you like a biscuit? Your pocket there for you. You can decide if you want that biscuit. What's she doing? She's going to headbutt it off the thing. You part cat. Sorry, I shouldn't say that word. I shouldn't say the word cat. No, she's not going for it. The biscuit she is. Ah, oh dear. 
Anyway, um, so yeah, I hope everyone's okay. So uh, long story short is I'm trying to get this hold fast bullshittery edited. Um, also, uh, in real life, I've put in an offer on a um, a, a, a bungalow, like a small uh, single store. It's like a single level house. Um, it's nothing. It's nothing amazing. It's a. It's an elderly couple live there, so it's a bit. Oof. Um, but um, yeah, it's exciting stuff. Uh, so thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm exceedingly. Your extreme generosity, folks. Thank you. But the important part is it has a small garden. So this young lady can flop herself on the grass in a, in a proper garden. Because right now she's... I, I'm in like a... Not a block of flats, but I'm in, I'm in like a building that's been converted into lots of flats. And they're all like mouldy shoeboxes. And she just stares at the concrete. Hmm? Get your small garden? Yes? Then she can chew all the flowers? Yeah. Anyway... <clears throat> Indeed, Stabby. So, um, like uh, Brighton, it, it's a it's a city, two towns that have united into a city, but it's hemmed in by these um, these big rolling hills. Sorry, pardon me. <coughs> anyway, so these big rolling hills. It's quite um, in some places the landscape is quite dramatic. We've got these these big deep valleys, and you can sort of see the other side of the valley. Anyway, uh, so you've got like residential buildings up and down, and the closer you get to the heart of Brighton, the more sort of trendy and sort of flats it gets. And then the further out towards the back, the more bungalowy, elderly sort of types you get. And then as you proceed west along the coast, it becomes a sort of elephant graveyard as you approach Worthing. Where <laughs> <laughs> where like people just go to die it's just like it's where old people with their tiny bungalows like you get older you start in brighton you know you're on the scene uh and then yeah you move further west and then you just fall into like the river ooze not ooze that's lewis what's the other one ada is that the name of the river there's a river over there yeah twit and Rue. we don't go to worthing well you do as you get older anyway all right Stabby used to uh, live up by Ditchling, Ditchling Road. You never saw one. Wait, Ditchling Road? Holy shit, did I? Did I go to school at Ditchling Road? Hang on. Ditchling Road, Brighton. Where's Ditchling Road again? Ditchling Road. Oh! Oh, yeah! That's up next to the golf course. Didn't someone get murdered up there a few years ago? <laughs> <laughs> like in the eighties or something, I think there was a big thing. Yeah, yeah, there's a thing. Anyway, sorry, Go going off topic. Yeah, my mum was telling me about it. There was a big, um, there was like a, there was like double murder or some shit, and it was all over the news. Anyway, so Ditchling Road in Brighton, famous for a murder. Uh, thank you, Nichols. Thank you very much. And Flabby Skydiver and Stein. Right. Sorry, I'm faffing. Just pouring a quick coffee. That's the one, Twit and Rude. Yes, uh, my mum told me about it. <coughs> right. Okay. So, welcome to Prey. So, what's going on? Who am I? Uh, where are we? Why do we have nipples? All of these questions will be answered and more in this playthrough. Maybe. Um, so I'm here on a space station called Talos. Talos 1. Uh, which is a bit... Thinking about it, it's a bit... Like, why would you call your station Talos 1? It implies that something is about to happen to it, necessitating Talos 2. Anyway. Um, this is a space station that seems to be a relic from an alternative history Cold War. Uh, where the Soviet and US governments built a moon space station in cooperation, then abandoned it, and a corporation took it over. Um, the corporation is called... I will remember this. Trans something. Trans... Help me out, chat. Trans Sky? Is it Trans Sky? Trans Star. That's the one. Trans Star. So it was bought by a corporation which I think is head headed up by my brother. So I'm playing as a character called Morgan Yu, and um, it's Alex Yu, isn't it? And uh, he is, I think, the head of this corporation that's basically doing... Now, I thought, I assumed, it was um, human augmentation uh, in a sort of... Um, in a, a something analogous to Rapture. It's a, it's a station that's far from government oversight. But turns out that might not be only what they're doing. There's a whole bunch of other corporate things that they're researching. Um, to do with... Uh, there was a board, like a big list of things they were inventing. 
The thing in my hand, for example, is one of them. It's a sort of non-lethal weapon. Anyway, so in front of us is apparently a lab called the Psychotronics Lab? Psytronics Lab? Where they were researching some sort of organism that they found or maybe engineered? Long story short, station was researching, organism got out, people started dying. I unfortunately don't have my memories for, I think, a completely unrelated reason. I think they were experimenting, sorry, I was a guinea pig for an, a different type of technology, which for some reason necessitated the wiping of my memory. That technology is called the Neuromod, which is, I think, is an artificial eye mounted into my skull, which gives me the ability to learn things by sort of with direct access to my optic nerve. So it's uh, I think the Neuromod is it's analogous to like a, a Deus Ex talent tree or like a um uh, like uh, mods in Deus Ex or perhaps uh, Adam in uh, BioShock. Anyway. So sorry, too long didn't read on a station attacked by aliens that got loose trying to survive. Holy shit. And yeah. Right, so, sorry, what was the last objective? They said go through guts. Access the guts. I need to make my way to deep storage. Ah, so there's a self-destruct system that I'm trying to activate for the station. Make my way to deep storage, a data processing facility off the uh, Arboretum. The main lift is inaccessible, but there's another way up. A series of utility tunnels called the guts that run up and down Talos 1. But first, I have to get through the Psychotronics lab. Okay. Let's do that then. Now, I am pretty badly wounded, and electricity in this game seems to attack you if you look away for even a moment. So, I must assert my dominance near the electricity. Actually, genuinely, how the fuck do I get through this? Um, really? <laughs> that worked? <laughs> I, I just... Oh. Overheating, maybe? I genuinely just shot it out of, like, impotent frustration. And apparently it worked. Okay. <laughs> right. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Kletka, the original name of the station back when it was built by the Soviets and the yeah, the US people. What is that? Reactor? No, just... don't know. Stabilizer of some kind? Where the fuck am I? Press M. Talos Lab. I'm currently in... Oh, I'm still in the lobby? No, I'm in Psychotronics itself. There we go. Okay. So what's Psychotronics? Hmm... Okay. Uh, not really wishing to go down that rabbit hole right now, Feed, but um, no, frankly, I mean, on the internet, people will share stuff. It, that is the nature of the internet. I'd much rather be a creator who's generally a bit chill rather than one who's going, ah, how dare you, and starting to shut down shit on TikTok or whatever. So, whatever. Seems to be what TikTok is anyway, isn't it? That being said, it's a bit cringe. Rise. So if people are having fun on TikTok, more power to them. Even though, yes, my toes curl at the cringe. Okay. Sorry, what is this? What am I standing in? Decontamination? Scanner? Let's not set off a metal detector without paying attention. Security. Also, yeah, I'm confused by the... I wonder if this is just like a... like a, The devs got inspired by Bioshock. There's this weird, like, sort of retro tech. Retro sci-fi tech when it doesn't feel like it fits the setting? Maybe in the lobby, like with wood panels and stuff, but... Why does the camera look like that? Weird. Uh, okay, security code. Do I have it? No, negative. Could hack it if I had the ability to do that. Fucking mimics. Quick save it before the bastards get me. I guess there's a vent above me. So what's that whispering sound? I've not heard that before in the game. 
Um, hang on. Security check scan online. Maybe it is a scanner. Maybe I should be careful with, when it comes to walking through those things. Can I... Can. Can I? <laughs> Hang on. Boop. <laughs> Door controls. Boop. Meant to do that. Also meant to do that. First, first try, first shot. <laughs> so I mentioned um, this morning. Uh, the game, when I started, I had a bit of a, a bad feeling in my gut because the gameplay did seem quite tired in many ways. Like I thought, oh, it's just another Bioshock. You know, I was literally freeze something and freeze the splicer and then hit them with the wrench, that sort of thing. But honestly, I've changed my mind. There's lots of little, little clever tweaks like that. Like, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a diegetic reason. Not, it's not just, hey, activate the, the hacking... Um, plasmid. It's like, no, someone in engineering had a foam dart toy that they were using as a prank to activate the consoles around them. Integrate it as a puzzle. You know? There's lots of little, like, cool details like that. Uh, what's that? Sorry. Glucosist? What is it? Uh, a bag of emergency glucose. Someone was a diabetic? Uh, inventory. Oh, I see. My inventory is full. Weapon upgrade kit, 9 mil bullets. Those stack at the very least. Ooh, glue containers. So whose console was this? Door controls. Ah, let's download the area map. Okay. Security station at the entrance to Psychotronics. Uh, grav shaft. Okay, here we go. So going up, what's this thing? So the floor here is obviously supporting it. I mean, it's a space station. All the floors support all the others. Um, director's office, atrium. There's a recycler up there. I should get there as soon as possible. Okay. Live exam. They said that one of the samples for the aliens escape from this place. I'm guessing this is where they were fucking with it. Whatever it is. I wonder if it comes from, from the moon. Like, what possible purpose would there be to... For building a spaceship up here. A space station up here. I wonder if it's like a lunar life form. Uh, crew. Hello. Right, Psychotronics. So these were the people assigned to Psychotronics. It doesn't necessarily mean they're still in Psychotronics. So, uh, Deo Igui is in the cargo bay. Okay, there are no other survivors, or at least no one wearing their bracelets in Psychotronics. Stuff like this, like, you know, the little, little details in these consoles. It's quite cool. You can find all of these bodies, or at least I think so. So I'm just having a look and seeing if anyone is in psychotronics. I don't think so. Sorry, what's going on there? Did you see that? Why so many why have so many people survived in the um Arboretum? Unusual number of survivors up there. Ah, Alex is up there. Alex is up there. He has one half of the self-destruct mechanism. Ouch. So why is he up there? Surely in a time of crisis he would either evacuate or move to a secure location. What the fuck is secure about that location? He's alongside a gardener, a personal assistant, his personal assistant, security member, and another gardener. Odd. Maybe it's not actually a garden. Maybe it's like a high security area. And it's just named differently for corporate shenanigans. Neuromod division, so that's my division. Thank you, Kirked Up Games. And it's me insane. Uh, Neuromod, Neuromod, Talus One Lobby. Sorry, where am I? Morgan U. Uh, 
Oh, maybe I wasn't in the Neuromod division. Never mind. Okay. Hydroponics, maybe? True. I mean, yeah, maybe that's where they grow their food. I mean, Alex Yu is really fat. Do you think he's up there eating? Um, apprehend Dr. Galagos. What's this? So, from Hans Kelstrop to Corey Richards. At the end of second shift, as per Alex Yu's direct orders, you are to escort Dr. Galagos to security office in the main lobby. Uh, Draxliox. Uh, well, backseating for a live streamer just means sort of trying to order the streamer around. Like, do this, do that, go here, do that. Oh, turrets that I can deploy. Cool. Uh, hmm. Behind the Iron Curtain. Excerpt from a historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union by Dr. Luke Manor Bandar. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanding boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, uh, as uh, they came to be known. Wait, my brain. Mensheviks. Minority? No, that's, that means majority, doesn't it? That's the irony of the Bolsheviks. The minority ended up taking power. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While while at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow. Oh, sorry, did I get the wrong way around? That's if that's true, that's incorrect in my brain. Okay, never mind. I'll fix that later. Events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, alternate history, by the way. Um, so, hang on. These are actually deployable. Let me, just for the sake of having a bit of a safe haven in the event that events go from okay to holy fucking shit... Submitted. One turret. Anything? Proximity sensor reset. Okay. Thank you, Benny. Thank you very much, Benny. I'm just going to place these down in front of the entrance. Again, just in case I have to fall back here. Oh, not enough space, sorry. Deploying. Thank you, Gamesco. What's that fucked up noise that I'm hearing? Diagnostic check. Verbose. IFF. Nominal. Power load. Nominal. Actuated. Hmm. Okay. Clean rooms? Something something above me. No, it's just a mimic. Someone called Crispin. Hello. This way, if you please, Mr. Mimic, I have a gift for you. Yoo-hoo! Come and investigate this sound! Oh, for Christ's sake. I'm gonna shoot you with a foam dart. I'll get your attention. Whoa! Let's help me, help me, help me, help me shoot the fucking thing! Oh Jesus! Oh my God! It just took off most of my health. Guys, make yourself useful. <laughs> I actually hit him. 
Yeah, this thing is smarter than I am. So I'm not following you to your bloody turrets. Crispin Boyer. Come on, Crispin, work with me here. Fat lot of good, fat lot of good you two were. Right. Uh, so, let me just sort my inventory. Do I have any food that I can nom? Uh, I've got this, yeah, bag of emergency glucose, so I'll just snarf that down. And some energy drink. Okay. Thank you, Leo Venzo. Thank you for saying so. And thank you, Gamesco and Benny and Kindred and Kirked Up Games and It's Me Insane and Paraha. Thank you all of you for your kindness. So, sorry, for the people just joining, I'm exploring a space station orbiting the moon. I was a test subject for this company, and some sort of mass casualty event has occurred where some sort of organism has, question mark, escaped? Attacked? The Ty... Was it Tycho? Ty something organism with some pretty shocking properties. They have the ability to mimic other objects. I think people are turning into them because they've got names. Either that or they're mimicking people they've killed. The Starbender Cycle, Book 3, Spatial Delivery. Excerpt from Book 3 of The Starbender Cycle by Fletcher McMarvin. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engines into overdrive, praying to Zlor that he makes the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up with him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tumaline, and rotting in a Mordax pri kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked, patch me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. Moments later, a scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tone, and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Slaw's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber, saving all of your asses. I found the Starbender Prism, and I'm coming in hot. Okay. <laughs> A little attention to detail. Little things you can pick up. How's Prop Hunt? So far, so good. Good shout. I should keep the glue cannon ready just in case, like, a, a chair tries to go for my throat. Put the psychoscope down. Psychoscope mandatory beyond this point. What does that mean, sorry? Hmm. This thing? Psychotronics. Psychoscope mandatory beyond this point. Decontamination. Clean room preparation. Ooh. Okay. Med kit down there. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Uh, why is the mimic in the toilet? Sorry, I'll leave you alone. Sorry, I'm rude. He's trying to squeeze out a log. I'll leave him alone. Right. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you flush the mimic? Hang on. Oh, I see. Someone tried to stuff it down the toilet. Is it stuck? Can I flush? Toilet. I think it's stuck. Someone tried to... S yeah. The wrench is stuck and therefore so is the mimic. 
poor bastard. What the fuck did that dude eat? Well, I don't have the space. Hang on. Let's well, fucking just kill it. It's a fucking mimic. Hang on. Bloody hell. Yeah, reminds me of Curry Night. Jesus. There we go. As does that. Alison Brady. Petri dish, some glue canisters. I need to empty my inventory, I've got too much junk. A med kit. Was she trying to reach for it? Why is this bashed in? What's that about? Something smashed down? Wasn't an explosion, her body's still intact. Wow, okay. Someone went to fucking town with their glue gun. Why? What's down here? Where am I? Level one. That's the toilet. Level two. I don't know. Let's be a little cautious. He says. There's a mimic there. It's been covered in glue. It's been frozen. It's next to something. Can't tell what. Something went down here. Alright. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Fuck, holy shit! Okay, well, that'd be why. That'd be why, that'd be why, that'd be why. Okay, holy fuck, guys. Jesus Christ, bloody hell. Bloody fucking shitbags. Okay. Mimic tumor. Did I get all of them? Hmm. No, not a horror game, Andrew. Um, it's more like Bioshock. It's Bioshock with the big dollop of... Um, of uh, Deus Ex. That guy froze it. He got the mimic with the glue gun and it's been unable to escape. That's his glue gun. Janos uh, Jezov. He's dead though. Got killed by something else. What's that on him? Psychoscope. Oh, I see. I assumed it was my artificial eye. I assumed incorrectly. What is this device that he has? Take these random pieces of junk. What is this device that he currently has? Hello. What are you? You're a helmet. Okay. The cytoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. I invented it! Cool. Alright, what does it do? Oh, he's got two neuromods. Holy fucking shit. Um, what's that there? Mimic Detection Gen 1. Uh, scope chipset. What's that then? Allows detection of hidden mimics. Okay. Oh, will that ruin the fun, though? Like, the prop hunt element is funny. Um, okay. Allows the detection of hidden mimics. Sorry, how do I put it? There we go. Scan complete. More specimens required. Hmm. Glue and the Q-beam. Okay. Scannable powers, mimic matter 1, 2, and 3. Immunity to the EMP device. No new data. I see. Yeah. Indeed, Revelion. Um, perhaps I would be saying so if I'd played System Shock, but alas, I've... Uh, yeah, I didn't try System Shock back in the day. Right. Might as well take it out. Thank you, Demonic Caretaker. Holy shit, thank you for your sub-bomb, Demonic. That's very kind. 
and Golden Sander, Warhorse, Mr. Baron, and Demaf. Thank you again, Demonic Caretaker. Okay. So maybe give each room a quick scan as I pass through them. Live specimen required for scanning. Hello. Ah! Mimic matter one available. New psionic aptitude available. It's a phantom who's found the bathroom. Okay, hang on. Scope chipset. Mimic detection generation one. It's a program that I can install. Suit chipsets. No chipset available. Hmm. Maybe I need to manufacture a chipset from a crafting station? Oh. Sorry, was, is the other one scannable? No new data. What about the second one? Sit him with a glue gun. Two crates fell. Only one of them was a mimic? I guess so. Right. Leverage three required to move this box. Okay. Thank you, um, Cloud Alter Rose. Thank you very much, Cloud. That's the phantom. He's waiting for me up there. I presume he'll give me the ability to scan a live phantom. Hello. There we go. Scanning. We need a clear shot of the fucker. Thank you, Flamingo Extremist. Thank you, the Flamingo. And Unit Error. Thank you. I do have, uh, I think, one recycle charge, Blasson. I used it, and then the chat warned me that it can break the game, apparently. Whatever that means. Um, where is it? I've got one, so let's use that for when I absolutely fucking lootly need to not die. doing I am not here I am somewhere else you do not see me you see nothing He's investigating. You see nothing. Jesus Christ on toast. He's found me. Run, 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 run. Turrets, help me out. Guys, help me out here. Shoot the fucker. Please. Let me scan you first. Let me scan him. Oh. Woo. More specimens required. Now you can shoot him. Have we had a falling out or some shit? Blow his brains out! You guys are rubbish. Hmm. 
Yeah, these are definitely the crew members, aren't they? Nine millimeter bullets and a Mountain Dew. I presume that's a security guard with the uh, bullets. Okay. So, let's see if we can find that crafting station and see if it tells us anything about what we've just learnt with this psychoscope thing. For those joining the stream, welcome. I'm playing as Morgan Yu, who is a, um, I was about to say amnesiac, but he's not, is he? He's, um, he's had his memories wiped. Required beyond this point. Okay. And, uh, we're exploring the high-tech research labs of this facility. Apparently this one had a containment failure, which has released an organism across the station, I think. Sorry, is it Morgan? What did I say? Is it Morgan? Wu? What is his name? I keep forgetting his name. Wu? You. Okay. So green and white science team. Hello. Science Scanning. operator. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Thank you. Don't know what that means, but thank you. Doctor Yu, your neural pattern shows no sign of typhoon material. Okay. Stephen Mueller, corpse. I guess he was the diabetic. Okay. I have a new bar. I do. That must be the, um, I found like an item that would improve my psychic psychicness. This. It's a psycho stimulant. Psy points. Am I going to get plasmids? Am I going to start shooting lightning and shit? So the robot came down. Is this just a demonstration of, um, of the elevator? Oh, keep pressing that button by mistake. Excuse me. No, no, excuse me. Can you come this way? Never mind. Come this way. I wish to push you into the thing as a guinea pig. Never mind. Nice. Whoa, holy shit, the bed. I see you've already figured out how to use your psychoscope. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. I'm sending you the code to a safe and direct to Telstrip's office. I'm certain he's hidden neural mods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. Hmm, okay. That's good, at least. He doesn't want me to die. That's my brother, by the way. I think he's the head of the company. Morgan said he's allergic to failure. Which implies that things are not going well here, and he's worried about returning to Earth empty-handed. There was an elderly couple that we were standing behind on a portrait in Morgan's office. Parents, I assume. He's worried about disappointing them? Hmm. Yes, also allergic to the gym. Research complete. Okay, weaknesses. Electric, EMP, explosive, and melee. Immune to psychic and null wave. The hell is null wave? Thank you, Iron. I'm not allergic to the gym. I had a gym membership for ages. Fuck you. Sometimes I even walked past the door to the gym. No, for those not familiar, I got a gym membership because I thought to myself, I'll get a gym membership, there's no way I would waste that money. Obviously, I would put it to good use by... I figured it would be an excuse for me to go to the gym. Did that work? No, it did not. I ended up just wasting money until COVID happened, and then, to my surprise, the gym basically cancelled all membership when lockdowns occurred in the UK. Uh, so I thought, oh, okay, that's nice. That saves me the hassle. And then they've just been blowing up my phone for the months since uh, afterwards saying, please come back. I was like, I never went. You can't say come back. I never went. Hmm. 
One second. I thought there was a... Okay, it's over here. Director's office. I'm looking for the fabricator and the recycler because my inventory is looking a bit chock-a-blocker. One second. Right. Containment. Containment? What, for the whole for the whole lab? What, with the release of the organism? Hmm. What are these ominous-looking capsules? Equip psychoscope prior to viewing. View. Containment shield. What is this? What's in here? What is that? Phantom. <laughs> Oh. They were producing the phantoms? Oh, okay. Oh no. Were they going all Genova? So the psychotronics lab was breeding the phantoms? More specimens required. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So whatever the fuck they are, they were breeding them here and they got out. These are the mimics, sorry for those not familiar. Is it still growing? Is that just, just the energy shield on the glass? I think it's just empty. <laughs> Kinetic Blast 2 available. New psionic aptitude available. Hmm. Thank you, Digi. Thank you very much. ZF Digi's in the chat, everyone. Hope you're well. Typhon Anthrophasma... Uh, sorry, Phantasmus. Shit, okay. So this corporation was up to some shady shit with a life form that they found or bred? Keeping them contained? Hans Kilstrup, Psychotronics Director. Didn't I find his body? Right. Director's office. Uh... Why two? Okay, it's fine. Could that be him? Oh, hang on. The glass is broken. I need to be careful. So into the recycler. I'm going to dump all of my junk. Initiate the recycler. Giving me some materials over here, which I'm going to take to the crafter on the other side of the room. Power control terminal. Maybe I can switch it off, make things a bit safer in here. Hmm. Just checking. Turn off. Central power. Oh, wait. Has that stopped the crafting machine from working? Maybe. It's not paranoia if they are out to get you. If suddenly my rice cooker decides it wants to eat my kidney, I've got to be prepared with my glue gun.
anti-rad meds, and a psi hypno device. No? Can't reach? Maybe I need to craft something and then it will fall down. Okay, well the power's off, so... Need to sort that momentarily. Whoopsie. Oh, it's of course, I forget. I can scan the room for mimics. Okay. Hans Kelstrup. Test tube samples his cabin key, and his director office key. The noetic field. Or the noetic field? Uh, excerpt from the noetic field chapter 1 by Dr. Uh, Deo Igui. So here on the station. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has un undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics, uh, skeptics ridicule the idea, since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, <laughs> second skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of the mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Okay. Not sure I buy that, Dr. Deo. Deo. Hang on. What's that quote? I can't remember who it's from. Where um, the old don't change their minds, they just die and get the fuck out of the way. Ah, I've got the key code to his cell, of course. My brother gave it to me. Here we go. Neuromod fabrication plan. Morgan, a warning. If you scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful. But they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. What the fu- <laughs> Worst consequences you don't yet see. Dude, the station is infested with half mimic turn people. I'm pretty sure the consequences are evident. I see. Okay, so were they modding them- were they splicing themselves with, um, alien DNA? Or alien whatever it is. Neural patterns. Okay. Right. Sorry, did that say that I could now manufacture neuromods? I wonder what that will cost me as far as resources. Thank you, Boyka. Thank you very much, Boyka. Uh, let me just reinitialize the power. Mimic. What the fuck? The thing I was reaching for was a mimic the whole time. <laughs> no, no wonder I couldn't grab it. You're a goddamn mimic. Alright. So what happens if I start? There we go. Little bastard. Clever little... Right. Sneaky, yeah. Neuromods. Okay, I can make them. A device invented by Transtar that modifies a subject's brain in order to impart new skills, knowledge, and paranormal abilities. So, three what? What is that? Three exotic material. Uh, two, two, one. Two organic material? Mineral material, synthetic materials. Sorry, green. What's green? Organic materials? Okay. Expensive, but I'm, if anything, I should really just, you know, put all of my stuff towards them. The neuromods are very important. Okay, so hold on. Hold the phone. What was... So I'm, I'm learning stuff, aren't I? Oh, ah. Oh. oh. I misunderstood. I thought I was scanning new neuromods, uh, sorry, new pieces of equipment to be assembled. 
by scanning the aliens, I'm unlocking additional knowledge that I can make with a Neuromod. Interesting. What's this then? Energy. Kinetic blast creates a psychic, uh, a physical blast that deals up to 50 damage. Kinetic blast, unknown ability. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, this is this is quite clever. This is well worked out, isn't it? Morph. What's this? Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. We can play prop hunt. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Mimic complex machinery such as operators. Holy fuck. <laughs> uh. Alright then. So it does indeed require neuromods. Hmm. What do I want to get? I shouldn't neglect the combat ability, should I? Otherwise, I'm going to get in trouble. Security. One second. Firearms. Increased damage with security weapons to 120% and a chance to critically hit by 6%. Conditioning. Increase my health to 115. Combat focus. Enter a state of hyper-focus for 10 seconds in which time slows down around you. The action costs 50 stamina. Shall I get the firearms one? You know. <laughs> Toughness. It's prob conditioning first, do you reckon? Um, oh yeah, it unlocks additional things. Movement speed, stamina, increasing health. Yeah, these are these are quite useful, aren't they? These look these look these do look quite funny, but obviously I need to be able to survive. Let's go with firearms and neuromod four. Acquire, please. Increasing my damage or, uh, with weapons by 20% and increasing my critical hit chance. Now, what would it take to actually manufacture a Neuromod? Okay. So, three exotic materials, two synthetic, two... Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to need more organic materials? Let's give it a welly. Just the one. Okay. Thank you, Heron Carr. Thank you for doing that, Heron. Thank you kindly. Right. Did I not knock that over? I hear a mimic. Now, I would approach the workstation. In fact, I will. Utilities. Archival footage. First contact. Ooh. 1960. First contact. Let's see if we can download it quickly, then run away from the console. Then use the foam launcher to read the other bits, maybe? First contact. 1960. Now playing. Ooh, interesting. What, what am I doing? What's that? So... Space station? Satellite, maybe? Around Earth? Hard to see. Oh, look! Floating in space? Oh, I see! It attached its... Oh, no, dear me. It attached itself to the astronaut. Oh, no. Oh, really, no. Shit! So the so they weren't genetically engineered. They they flew through space and started eating a cosmonaut's face. Oh dear. In fact, if I if I I don't need to do this, do I? Hang on. Oh look, there's another screen there. Ooh, grim. Okay. Archival footage. So, five years later, Weaver. Ooh. Is that one of our satellites? Ooh, I see. It reproduced? It's 
making more of itself. They're fighting? Territory? Dominance? formed a new form. I've seen one of those on the outside of the ship. It, note that it didn't require biomass. I wonder what it was doing. Harvesting energy? What is that? So that's in the Kletka station. That's here. Wait a second. What year is it? Okay, so it's uh, 2035. So this was when Kletka was first made. So when the station was first set up. I'm guessing that's probably like a probe or a satellite or something. I wonder what they're utilizing to what well, what they're using to propagate there. Strange. Okay. Maybe that's why the Soviets and the US abandoned the station. Conference LG conference room. Allow access. Okay. Emails. Oh, bloody hell. Time to talk. From Alex Yu, my brother. Our esteemed colleague, Dr. Galagos, is posing a problem. Let's talk via the looking glass ASAP. Barely read it. How close can I get without getting zapped? Thank you, Diamox. Dr. Kelstra, patient uh, Tokiji? Tokiji insists that she got her hand caught in a piece of machinery, but her wounds show evidence of bite marks, human bite marks. Someone bit her finger off. When I asked security if they could find the finger so I could at least reattach them, they said the machine had ground them up. What is going on? Shit. Telepath, re telepath rejection. From Sanjay Puri, CCing in the doctor here, and sorry, two, no, sorry, other ways, uh, to the doctor and then CCing Alex. Full report still pending concerning the last experiment. The Typhon Psychocratis initially evidenced interest in the subject, but then failed to colonize the subject's mind, developed a strong aversion, in fact. Experiment halted at one minute past five. Sorry, five minutes, uh, five hours, one minute, 30 seconds. At Miyu's request, 37 cent to recovery. Oh no. Are the volunteers being sacrificed for human experiments? While 37, a number of a volunteer, has a history of psychological instability, the event seems to have inflicted additional trauma. Both M MU, me, and A, you, have agreed that 37 should be held until we can determine the origin of 37's particular resistance to the Typhon Psychocratis. Status report. Tokija and 37. So the injured girl. Per your request, Dr. Toke Ajo was sent to trauma. Her fingers could not be recovered. A, uh, number 37 is isolated un and under continual watch. Security will perform regular checks on his physical condition. Okay. So someone lost their fingers to a bite and subject 37 in this twisted experiment had, well, was causing the alien, well, the aliens were, were trying to get away from it. Him. Interesting. Perhaps they have an immunity that we can exploit, maybe? Uh, panpsychism? Greek term, all everything whole. All basic physical constituents of the universe have proto. protumental properties that are irreductible? Okay. 
Hmm. Okay. So we've got the the mods that our brother told us to go get. We still need to go and find the self-destruct key. So we need to move through psychic... Yeah, hang on. Check my objectives. So I need to keep moving through here. Proceed past the psychoscope calibration checkpoint. Okay. Access the guts. We're, we're trying to get to the backup of the self-destruct key. For some reason, past me instructs future me that we should destroy the station. Containment access. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. The probes that we saw in the footage. Sorry, what's going on? Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. Uh, okay. So that's the probe from the footage. Oh, do you reckon they... Do you reckon the Soviets and the US, they pulled the probe when the astronaut was attacked? So they pulled it and just contained it inside here? And then it produced this thing, whatever it is. Scan it. Scan complete. More specimens Weaver. required. So this organism is building something. It's weaving like a spider. Okay. So yeah, this is the probe from the first contact, isn't it? Yeah. And then I volunteered to be... Well, like, have, like, knowledge spliced from it? So what did he say? We're close to knowing what it's building. I'm surprised it's still alive. That they let it live. Okay. Current specimen under observation. Typhon Cacoplasma 12. Typhon Geniocratis 1, the weaver. I see. 12 mimics in the chamber. One weaver. Typhon Dysmorpha? Unknown in the chamber? That's just the name of the web. Psychoscope required. Proceed with caution. Okay. So this is the thing that broke containment. Hmm. Live exam morgue. One second. Live exam. Armory. Material extraction. So this is, the, yeah, this is where they've got it contained in the middle. Guts. So I can choose to go either way. Uh, okay. We should probably... Can I look at the different levels? Morgue has two levels. Okay, we'll take this side first because it's smaller. Then we'll, we'll, we'll double back and go to the, the morgue. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Close encounter. So for those joining the stream... I'm aboard a space station around the moon owned by a corporation that seems to have contained an alien organism from 19, the 1960s. And it seems to be doing something to a cosmonaut's pod. And they've been studying it to learn new technologies. So what does I keep... I keep misclicking something. I haven't figured out what it is yet. Okay, never mind what I just said. Unless... Ah! Oh no! Bloody hell. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. There you are. Okay. 
Okay, Mimic Matter 2 available. Alright. What happened to the other one? Armory. Caution. Keep clear. Research team, green and white, not security. How did they get in? Huh. Door controls. Do they work with the crossbow? Can I bounce it off the floor? Yes, I can. <laughs> Did I impress you? <laughs> I was legit. Um, the other day I was watching on YouTube a video that was talking about um, uh, when taking... It was like a police training video. And it was showing that one of the mistakes that police officers make is that they, they get behind their car. But the problem is and a shooter can just shoot at the ground and bounce the shots under the car. It was like a, a police training thing. Hello. Who are you? Oh! Volunteer 13. Complete. You're also wearing the same uniform as the science team. Yeah, this is fucked up. Holy shit. Are they doing, like, fucking human experiments? Like, properly feeding people to the mimics? Hey! Hey! Over here! Hang on. So he's in a chamber right next to the weaver. Look, there's the weaver. Are they feeding it people? The psychotronics prisoner, new objective. Hello. You find anything good in that armory? Well, I was going to give you the code, but I guess you don't need it. Still, I sure would appreciate being let out of here. My name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Volunteer record. Volunteer test subject. Criminal history. No uh, reason to keep me locked up in here anymore. A proof of viewing. He's a criminal. Request record. Volunteer information. Volunteer 13. Name redacted. Aaron is his name. Male, uh, so in his 30s. From Siberia. Camp 17, Siberia. Offense, offense information. Human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor, distribution of controlled substances, fraudulent impersonation. Hey. What are you reading? My rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen. I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I've done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. Well, I'm more interested, like, tell me more, like, what the fuck were they actually doing? Mimic multiplication, extract I mimic. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. You be quiet, I will Real shoot criminal. you in the face. They didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubies. Hang on. Sorry, it's not actually assigned. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? Y'all really shit and fell backwards in it, huh? What were they doing? Were they feeding him to the weaver? Most of the other fellas were Russian. I speak a little, but as you can tell, I ain't from there. As you might have guessed... 
Theramod glue cannon. Damien Lin. Shotgun. We're in business. Upgrades for the shotgun. I should hit, I should backtrack to the crafting station as quickly as possible. A turret. I should definitely deploy that. Ooh. Whoops. Inventory overflowing. Okay. Silence pistol. Yeah, we should carry this back as quickly as we can, shouldn't we? One second. Put it here. Give it max coverage of the room. I want to know more. Tell me more. Why were they feeding you to the weaver? Like, I assume. What does this mean? All you gotta do is open the door. You're not gonna survive out here, man. Mimic manipulation. Extract mimic. Extract exotic material. You know I used to be a reverend? Training for it anyways. Until I got locked up. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil, is pregnant with mischief, and gives birth to lies. Does that sound like anybody you know? Let me get back to the crafting station as quick as I can. Whoops. That's not the right button. One moment. Uh, how do I... Oh. There we go. Sweet. Proximity sensor reset. Sorry, this is a mess. Let me go to make this slot four. Oh, I've got an extra glue gun without realizing. Whoops. Oh no, of course, because I grabbed it from the security office. So what? They're doing a... They're doing a... What is it called again? Sorry, what's that website of like um, like a... Uh, uh, fuck. SCP. They're, yeah, like they're, they're bringing up disposable people that they can feed to the weaver, maybe? So, can criminals from gulags... Wait, got turned around. Went the wrong way. Yeah, uh, D, yeah, is that correct? D class. There was something in the vent above me. Okay, let me recycle. The second glue gun. Any junk that I picked up. Oh, my inventory's looking pretty chunky. Um, what's that? Anti-rad pills. Uh, let's get shit face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just recycle that for now. Whoop. Oh, the extra pistol. Do I have one? I do. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Appreciate it. Okay. Right. How much organic material do I currently have? Not enough to make another um, bloody bar thing. Okay. Right. So shotgun shells. Uh. Oh, am I dumb? I thought. Sorry, what, what did I just learn? I thought I learned something to do with the shotgun. Yeah, but not the shells. It was something else, wasn't it? Was it just shells? Oh, okay. My bad. I thought I had like a, like a mod for it or something. Mimic detection gen. Okay. Neuromods. I've still got two. Security... Conditioning. Yeah, let's actually unlock this. Get a bit more health. Um, health up to 115. Stamina to 105. Uh, run, sneak, climb, and sprint. 5% faster. Lovely jubbly. Alright. I can craft a neuromod? Then we probably should, shouldn't we? Top priority, frankly.
Okay, lovely jubbly. How many shotgun shells do I have? Maybe a couple more. Yep. Oh, Wackbeth says it's showing your materials to the top right of the fabricator. Oh, it does. I'm blind. Has that been has that been there this entire playthrough, chat? That must have been aggravating. <laughs> chat says yes in unison. Uh. Just a back door to the office. So for those joining, welcome. Uh, this is my... Is this my third playthrough? Uh, third stream? It's my first playthrough. Ah, yes. Okay. So Alex Yu, my chubby brother, wanted to communicate with the doctor, the director of psychotronics, about something? Calvino! What did you do to my conference room? Eh? Uh, oh, 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 yes. I was uh, just about to call you. All I see is a dot. Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Uh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino. I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. <laughs> so that's the forgetful... Um, the inventor of the looking glass telecommunication software getting yelled at by another old man. What's this? Sorry. Just a cigar case or something. Uh, touch to calibrate. Really? You couldn't be bought? Okay, if this, is, if this is fucking simple, if the doctor, like, wandered off in frustration... Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, that, that might have got me. That might have got me. <laughs> I kind of flinched in my chair. Damn it, there was a mimic behind the glass. <clears throat> I see, there was a lab behind here. It's not just a window. Uh, it's not just a wall. Where is he then? Oh, there we go. This game is pretty cool. Did he get through? Thank you. Also, I don't know why. Sorry, I'm just off topic entirely. It feels like I've bit my lip. It's hurting all of a sudden. Did I, did I, like, fucking bite my own lip in that jump scare without realising? I might have done. Like, I think, like, the inside of my lip has been pierced. It's actually, I think it might be bleeding. Weird. Yeah, lost one HP in real life. Alright. Let's nail this one. Scan him and shoot him. No new data. Really? No new data? Oh, of course. We've learned what the phantoms do. Alright. Let's try and get a sneak attack on him. Bloody hell. Works for me. 
Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, so I was hoping to perhaps see what Alex was whinging about. Wait, so the looking glass is still online here? I think so. What room was he trying to communicate with here? What am I looking at? <clears throat> There's no features that I can identify that would tell me. Calvino's lab? Uh, oh, you might be right, actually. Yes, you might be right. Isn't that where he was storing his booze? Yes, you're right. That's Calvino's lab. Well, ah, you got good eyes. Holy fucking shit. Who said that? Um, sorry, secondary. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. Uh, thank you, Danny K9. Stan PC Gamer, B Hopper, Evil Road Rage, Dagor, and Legato. Thank you, all of you folks. One second. Looking Glass Station, nothing else of note. Okay. Quickly recycle some of the junk that I just found. There we go. So, let's go back through here, work my way around the containment chamber. Still 12, one weaver, 12 of the mimics, and something else. I'm guessing it's just the webbing. Thank you, KDT Martin, Deltroid11. Thank you for your sub bomb, Deltroid. Thank you. I know, I'm not sure what to do about him, Googles. If I let him out, he'll never survive, surely. Hang on. I feel... Well, what... <sighs> What choice do I have? I'm not going to fucking... I'm not going to execute him. Come on now, God damn it! let me out! Okay. But you're never going to survive, mate. It's a death sentence. You probably want to stay in there. Do it for the science? No, I'm not, not going to fucking execute a dude. Don't try anything stupid. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. What are you going to do? Oh, you're the one person who showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. But what are you going to do? Listen, you run into any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. So, I, I really want him to tell me more. Like, what, what exactly were they doing to you? I seen one of the other volunteers come through here. A big guy. The bastard wouldn't let me out. Now I'm glad he didn't. Watched him bash some poor sucker's head in with a wrench. Kept going on and on about black eggs and whatnot. Real disturbed. Big guy? Black eggs? Someone came through here? I'll oh, just lay low for a bit. Plan a ride out of here. Watch him, make sure he doesn't fuck with the Being controls. You start to miss things. Things you gladly said good riddance to. Like this little miniature poodle I used to have. Ugly as sin. Little shit used to chew holes in my boots. I wonder what he's doing now.
fuck is that? Is that just a mimic knocking a crate, or is it something big? Christine Lloyd, corpse. Transcript on her. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I'm at it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just... That storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh, I understand. Micrometeorite, explosion, external, containment failure through that. Hmm. Is it just a mimic? Is that... Am I getting jumpy over nothing? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes, I, I'm guessing so. That table is a mimic. It's a trap. I legit didn't touch anything. Weird. Okay. Maybe we have to go around for that room? Containment access. Live exam. Morgue. One second. We'll figure out how to get into that room in a minute. Let's proceed around to live exam. Material extraction. Is that how they're getting the exotic material? By letting the mimics reproduce? Was Aaron going to be killed and then... One mimic comes in, creates four. Three of them go into the chambers? That's fucked up. So their entire program necessitates human sacrifice? Ah, lockdown in effect. Guts access restricted. Gonna have to go the other way for now. Fuck, how many people have they fuck fucking fed through their machine? I think so. Chaos. We saw at the very beginning a human was killed and it produced more mimics, didn't it? Live exam. Keep my glue cannon up instead. So for those joining, I'm exploring a space station around the moon, being run by a corporation performing really fucked up shady experiments. All in the name of profit, it seems. And I don't appear to be an innocent party in this, I'm the vice president of it. Live exam? I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon. But this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. 
They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. That's possible. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. That, I mean, legitimately, that's one of the potential problems with a first contact scenario, in that you can potentially encounter another life form that's so different that you might, you might, you might struggle to convince them that you're even life. Would we stop to communicate with a, an earthworm on the ground as we're going about our business? Amplify that by however fucking advanced an alien life form is. They might not even consider human beings to be alive. I wonder if they're so different, or so alien in every respect that they don't even consider people to be people. Biohazard waste. Oh, Jesus. Don't know what that is. Eel prototype. Eels? Eel prototype. What is that? I didn't. I legit didn't press the button there. Is that a bug? Weird. Middle mouse? No, it's not. It is middle mouse, but I, hopefully my mouse isn't malfunctioning. My finger's resting on it, but I didn't press it. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Hang on. Sorry. Can I just sort out my inventory? It's a bit fucked. One, two, three, four. The morgue. Live exam. It's hardly live. Lab procedure. Phantom Genesis. Experiment. Live exam series TG5013. Please ensure that there is a cadaver in the, in the enclosure and activate uh, psychoscopes prior to opening the containment cylinder. Psychoscope containment cylinder? Ruby stone. Fucking hell. Fabrication plan. Oh, cool. I can now produce the hypo psi um, thing. Whatever that thing does, I've yet to discover. There's a corpse in there. Live exam controls. Warning. Activate psychoscopes before initiating experimental procedure. Deploy null wave. Open containment shield. Containment cylinder. What am I looking at? There. Is that the containment cylinder? Is there a mimic in there? Okay. Here we go. Oh no. It's to the weaver itself. It's feeding the weaver? Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Warning. Examination theater compromised. Oh no! More specimens required. Uh... Warning. Examination theater compromised. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm good. We're gonna go this way. Actually, you can Warning. have that whole... Examination theater compromised. ...deck. You know what? I'm I'm out. Um, Aaron, have you got a gun, mate? Because um, should I change position? Yes, throw yourself at the enemy, please. Take this trolley. Um, hang on. Aaron, Aaron, I've got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> the actually, there is no good news. There is absolutely no good news right about now. Um, right. Scanning target. Where'd they get him? Bottom of the ocean or something? Subject thirteen. <laughs> Bloody hell, <laughs> it's really coming now. Brace yourself, Aaron. Kind of 
familiar. You sure you ain't been here before? Actuators. Nominal. Here we go. Can it come through the door? Here we go. Can you get it? Oh, bloody hell! Owie, 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 owie. Make it, make it. Give me, make it. And human features under things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. All their wonderful abilities. There's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Well, they probably don't perceive you as living, Alex. You're just resources to be harvested. In your case, a lot of resources, because you need to fucking work out, mate. Bloody hell. Hang on. So this is subject 12. Okay. So sorry, uh, going back one before I ran out the room bravely and valiantly to fall back to a better defensive position. Don't you shake your head. Um, so wait, it, the weaver came in and, and just turned the corpse into a phantom. Okay. Trying to get through the field. Hmm. Uh, I'm quite low on health. Eat some jellied eels. Check the map. Is there a med bay that I can initiate? Maybe it's in the morgue? Like medical areas? Morgue? Not that I can see from this map. Okay. Yes, not a bad idea. Let me see if I can repair the suit. Here we go. If I can. Maximum concurrent operators reached. Engineering operators deployed. The morgue is down there. Containment shield is open. Live exam controls. Deploy the null wave. What does that mean? Oh! Bloody hell, it made me jump. Huh. Not sure what that was. Bloody hell. Okay. So, um, the Weaver transformed that dude's body. Oh, thank you, Real Civil Engineer. Thank you sincerely for the raid there. Much appreciated. Welcome, Real Civil's viewers. I hope you're okay. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get my head around a plot twist there. Well, not really a plot twist, but... Um, long story short, we're exploring this um, space station around the moon in this game called Prey. We're currently the vice president of this evil, well, corporation, so by default they're evil. But what I mean, so we're the vice president who is, well, we're going through the remnants of our own work. I mean, this is a, this is a fucked up experiment that we help create. People are being fed to aliens. So let me just, sorry, let me just backtrack for the sake of the raiders. So there appears to be some unknown life form that attached itself to the face of a cosmo sorry of a cosmonaut in 1960 so that's their that's their capsule and this thing not necessarily this thing specifically but like a, a smaller version of this thing turned up and um they've been feeding people to it the corporation has been trying to learn what they can not just about the organism but I think trying to extract its memories and sort of grafting them onto people. Now, earlier on in the game, my character left a message for himself because I've lost my memory. Oh. No. oh, no! Ammo. Wonderful. My character left a message for himself saying that I need to destroy the station. And I had a self-destruct key to do it, but my brother, Alex, 
has taken it from me. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to move through the research area to get the backup copy of the self-destruct key to blow the station up because my character past me says that, yeah, no sample of this alien can get back to Earth. Otherwise, bad shit. Containment access material extraction. Oh, is the experiment finished now? I think it is. We can now access the utility tunnel. Before I do, let me just go down to the morgue. Portion. Some morgue. What does it say? So it's the scanning device that's on my noggin. Let's go down. Oh. Fucking mimics. All right, now we play prop hunt. So there's a mimic on the table. Is it being dissected? I think it is. More specimens required. Could they not have got like a like a, <laughs> a a more attractive voice to do the narration there? Not like the I mean like in in universe. It's not very easy on the ears. Uh, sorry. Luca Globokin. Uh... Surgeon. Sorry, what does that procedure mean? Coming through. Remove brain? The removal of the brain. Oh, no! Number 37. We learned about an hour ago that number 37 was particularly resistant to the phantoms to an extreme de an extreme degree. They removed his brain? Talk about killing the golden goose. What are you doing, sir? Hello. Oh. Thank you, sir. Fix my suit. Huh. Sorry. Nothing. No. Thank you, PBR Jax and Killy. By the way, Julos, Crelly Ho, Tit Eat Me, KDT Martin, and Deltroid. Thank you for doing that. Room. Just a stool with a microscope on it. I'm suspicious. I'm overly suspicious. Yeah, there you are. Oh no, wait, you're there. Hang on. Boom. Bloody. Disguise itself as a conical flask. Oh, Jesus Christ! Owie, 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 owie. You can piss. What the? You can piss off. Like so. Fucking mimics. Coming through. Hmm. Uh, I only got one last med kit. The morgue. Door's locked. Do I know the Do I know the code? No matching key card. Bumberries. Okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corpses at the very least. Busy day. Operator approach. Scanning for mimics. Clear.
Really? Sunburst banana pudding. Oh. Yeah, these are the subjects, aren't they? Fuck. So they're feeding them to the weaver. Either, either through a mimic or directly to it. That's number seven. So these are criminals that they're bringing up and executing. Oh, we're here at long last. This is, um, this is the doctor at the very beginning of the game. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies. Hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. It's all well and good, but I feel like I've stacked way too much onto my shoulders. Surely if this organism represents an existential threat to humanity, we'd at least send out a broadcast, a warning, saying, for the love of God, destroy the station. I mean, it's not like a fucking... It's not, oh no, this technology, if it gets into the wrong hands. It's literally aliens. Oh. Morgue key, just for the door behind me. What is this? Is this a furnace? Were they literally burning them? Incinerating them when they were done? This is really fucked up shit. Do I remember the last few years? I do. I remember everyone being forced into immediate lockdown with a disease that killed something like 1% of the population. Imagine a disease that would kill 100% of the population. Contained on a moon station with organisms that can survive in the vacuum and can travel through space. Send the nukes. Analyzing biohazard waste. Okay. So I saw earlier, so the reason I came here is that he had a key card to his own cabin. Apparently he was... He had, um... Was it data or exotic material? He was smuggling it out or something. Or at least had it on his in his cabin. So if we can get to the residential area, we'll check his cabin. But yeah, this is fucked up. Okay. One second. So we're in the morgue. Organism down there will eliminate it momentarily. Okay. So we have to destroy the station. There can be no survivors, myself included. We can't let even the slightest sample get down to earth. Otherwise everybody dies. I was thinking so too. Uh, 2013. It's very, it's very um, proto molecule, isn't it? Wait. You can't be serious. Oh, thank fuck for that. I thought from, I thought for a minute that the mimic was the turret. The mimic is the box in front of the turret. Frozen in place and bashed in the face. Ow! Not before he bashes me in the face. You little bastard! Right! Ugh. We're okay. Ooh, and a make kit. Lovely jubbly. Ah, Demi and Lynn, who are you? Sorry, pardon me. Can I just. Oops, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Didn't mean to nearly hit the droid. Emails. Demi and Lynn. 
so this is uh, to Demi and Lynn from uh, Annalise Galigos. That's the doctor that was causing problems. I'm indisposed, Demian. Kelstra wants to discuss some urgent matter. The science operator let itself into the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day. Let's itself into the morgue. Shadow it and slip in. Ah, oh, cool. You can just follow the robot through the door. <laughs> Mod malfunctions. Remember how funny I found Alvin Brolin's movies up until I had that second uh, Combinatorix Neuromod installed? Now they can't even elicit a chuckle. I'm not imagining this, am I? I did enjoy them, right? Haley's Haley isn't happy about it. Ever since she scrutinized my every move, how much hot sauce I use, where I put my shoes before bed, shit, even my handwriting. You'd say we're still the same person we were before the mods went in, wouldn't you? Rory. So yeah, they were doing augmentation to their brains, including alien source information. Could be worse. Could be turning to a goddamn splicer, running on the goddamn oh, on the goddamn ceiling with hooks for hands. Just gonna eat some food. Try not to eat the bag of poo. Okay. Autopsy. Bloody hell! Research complete. Okay. Coming through. Are you number thirty-seven? Whoa, Jesus! Mimic tumor. Maybe not. Did I even kill you? So for those just joining, they were trying to remove the brain of one of their subjects who displayed an extraordinary resilience to the weaver. Hmm. Uh, Mitsuko Tokaji, her corpse. Biohazard waste, spare parts, and organic material. Don't know what that is. Sorry, sorry, I keep throwing shit at this poor robot. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm not, I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay. Did I explore the med bay in the lobby? Yes. Thank you. Let's check this area over here. That's just a turret that I can repair. Lockers for the crew. Uh, thank you, get down. Much appreciated, get down. Thank you. Okay, we'll go back up. We'll continue around. Let me just do a proper save before I get myself murdered in the face hole. Anyway, sorry, for those passing through the stream, please know that on the YouTube front, I'm working on the second week of four on Hold Fast Bullshittery Part 2. I wish I could say I was further through. I should be on the second minute out of ten. I'm only on the first minute. Today proved quite complicated. I did my best. It wasn't through lack of trying, but um, the scene that I was editing was very complicated. Ah, glue canisters. And what's this? Speed scan. Ooh, interesting. Could this be a new modification for my helmet thingy? Where is it? Sorry. Neuromod. Uh, no. Scope chipset. It is. What does it mean? Decreases the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Lovely. Okay. 
The lockdown has been lifted with the completion of the experiment. Uh, I don't know, Catalyst. I didn't see System Shock. Starting with um, Bioshock in that series, so... Yeah, if it's good. Oh, hello. A mimic and a phantom? Collector station. No, no, I just mean that style of game, you know, in that format. Same number as before. Nothing's changed inside the chamber. Do not block. Where did that phantom walk? There he is. Mark him. A mimic is coming my way. He saw me. He's walking towards me. 22 meters. Looking glass. Wait, THE looking glass? Made system shock? No. No. Really? No. Oh my god, they did. Holy shit, how did I not know that? That's awesome. Holy crap, then I need to play the originals. Bloody hell. Okay, I really should have known that. May they rest in peace, Looking Glass Studios. Thank you, Zillion and Spook. Oh, really? The remake came out, it came out today. How is it? Those are some very big shoes to fill. It's great, they didn't fuck it up. People seem to like it, says Gu a Glass Gunslinger. 93% positive reviews on Steam so far, says Prins. Um, cool, that's good news. Whoopsie. Nice. Sorry, for those not familiar, Looking Glass Studio is uh, famously the, the developer of uh, the Thief series. One of the finest computer games ever made, or Thief 2 in my opinion. Uh, Thief to Thief to the Metal Age. Uh, if you haven't tried it, it's a very hard recommend. It will be quite old to your eyes, but give it a go because bloody hell. If you want to know why, there's a YouTube video called um, Thief vs. the AAA Industry, which talks about Thief vs. Um, the remake, and it's quite eye-opening. You go, what the fuck? Basically, it's a labor of love, like someone really sat down and thought through the mechanics. Oh, has this in me? Yes, no, maybe, possibly. Shotgun to the face. If you even have a face. Not anymore. Okay. Gravity Utility Tunnel System. Chamber under constant observation. Keep containment door secure at all times. Always wear your psychoscope. To spot mimics. Okay. Hmm. They just seem to have ensnared it in a web, haven't they? I don't know what the weaver could be doing. Did they pull it open? The door is just, the hatch is right there, isn't it? Hmm. 
Okay, we've been through there. Careful now. Eradicator auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built-in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Since you're not an alien. Okay. But obviously if I start splicing myself with the aliens, they're going to start shooting at me. Becoming a hazard that I'll have to avoid. Okay, we're entering the Guts Utility Tunnel to try and get up to... Uh, sorry, was it up or down? We need to find the data storage, basically the, the self-destruct key that I used to own. And then I'm going to have to find my brother to get the other one. We're trying to destroy the entire station. Right. Alright then. Morgan, where are you going? You won't be able to use Alex's escape pod without me. Wait, who are you? Please identify. What was that? Morgan, this is January. That operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. I'm not sure I trust that dude. That operator. Why would a program that I've made be telling me to trust it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm getting Metal Gear flashbacks. Am I actually assembling the key for Alex because he doesn't have it? I don't know. Something. We'll figure it. We'll find out more as I go. Sorry, could you bear with me just one moment? I need to go for a quick wee wee. Back in a second. <laughs> Getting elderly. I'm grunting when I'm standing up. Beautiful. We need to move the key down. Please just move it to the dock. Please just move it to the dock. Okay, I've just grabbed a quick beer from the fridge. I'll start drinking it soon. A few more minutes of this because I'm having fun. I do need to go to bed fairly soon though because uh, obviously I've got lots of work to do. Lots of editing on the bullshittery. Where am I now? Just one second. Station map. So I've entered the gut. Oh, I see the guts. So look in the background. Can you see the station? So we're traveling up the utility tunnel to the um, arboretum up there. Okay. So the straight line, as opposed to, sorry, the, the um, 
Uh, the full stroke on the line there means that it's a foot passage instead of via a spacewalk. Okay. Recycler. Aha. Operator dispenser. Locked. No password. Need to hack it. Eric Berger. One email. Guts, subsection 19. From Clive Lawrence to Eric Berger. Um... The electrical fault is still an issue in subsection 19. When will a replacement electrical component be available so I can finally get this repair underway? You understand, I cannot leave this subsection offline at all times, correct? Meanwhile, I'm having to navigate around fan vents. It's not ideal, Eric. Parts are on the way, Clive. So from the fabrication lab where I came from. Flower clippings. So maybe the, um, the uh, borum? Maybe it is real. It's not just a code name for something else. Hmm. Aberitum, aberitum. Sorry, Zed. What have I done? There we go. Sweet. Okay. What's that? Spare parts? Frayed wire? Just quickly. Uh, okay, let us continue. Detected. Okay, welcome to the guts. Engineering operator is online. Let's go. Eric Berger, we found his corpse. EMP fabrication plans. EMP charge. looking for any alien organisms. Approaching the first door. Okay. Is that a weaver? Oh look! What just happened? What happened? The operator drove into it and it, it exploded? Are they a proximity hazard? Emergency lights? Uh oh! Oh, shit. Okay. No shooting. No fucking shooting. In the tunnel with the oxygen. Ugh. It's like a polyp, isn't it? Scan it. Research complete. Cystoid nest. No weaknesses, no immunities. Don't go near them. Another one of them the robots. Whoa. Fuck a duck. The outer hull could be covered in those suckers.
radiation. Okay, I've got rad pills. I might just have to brave it. One second. Give me this. Push it. They do explode on contact with something. What's going on? The door behind me sealed? It's really disorientating. For those joining the stream, I'm in a space station drifting along its backbone. A utility tunnel full of extremely flammable gas. It's been infested by the aliens that are attacking this place. Although that's not really correct, is it? Test subjects that have escaped. duck. Piss off, please. Whoops. That wasn't me. That was Alex. I'm not even here. Whoa. Didn't see them. Just an O2 canister. Leave it. Uh. Hello? Operator, can I come in? No, you're too busy exploding. Okay, that's fine. Piss. Hang on. Maybe that corpse has the key. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Owie? Wasn't paying enough attention. Do I have any make -its on me? I have one. Do they live long when outside the polyp? Whoop! That's a few of them. Kim, don't forget to lock the door on your way out. 7787. Seven. Sorry, Kimberly. That's a really unpleasant pose to be grabbing you. Go, Kimberly! <laughs> right. Seven seven eight nine. Uh, seven seven eight eight seven. I can't read. Quickly, Kimberly, you first. Make sure it's clear. Good job, good job, Kimberly. Is it alive? 
Yes, it is. Okay. Medkit, lovely jubbly. Nearly there. So we've proceeded up the most... Cool. Proceeded up most of the station now. We're almost at the top. Whoa, that's a big arky flamey thingy. Flamey thingy? Lightning thingy? Nearly there. Ow! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What did I just do? Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake. I'll be fine. <laughs> right. Who's that? What does that say? Magnetosphere. I see. Protecting us from the solar wind. Ramon Ridley. His corpse. Is red good? Uh oh. Check it out while we're here. Okay. Med bay. Uh, if we can get a medical droid, that would be most useful. Uh, how can we get in? System offline? Oh! Bloody hell. Okay, just one big electromagnet. Who the fuck are you? Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in uh, uh, five, uh, uh, four, fuck. three, two. One. Okay. So whenever it does that, my suit gets shagged, I think. Not sure why I'm in here. Seems to be operating fine, right? Oh, hang on. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Warning, uh. seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, uh. three, two, one. Woo! That was close. Okay. Silence pistol. It's really loud. I can barely talk over it. Hang on. Uh, suit repair fabrication plan transcribe. Langley. Hey, what's the matter? He's he's dead. Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders. I tried to call security. I tried. Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley. Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. I'm sorry, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. 
I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm gonna find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. You're kidding me. I've got to get in there to get the dude's key card. You're joking. Okay. But surely his key card is fucking fried if he's in there with a massive magnet. Hang on. I'll check this later. Okay. So we'll do this quickly and then I probably have to finish up the stream and go to bed. Hang on. Emails. I'll read that later. Okay, so I've got to go get his key card. Hang on. Generator access. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Oh dear. If I move quietly. Oh, that didn't work. Ah! No, 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 no. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five, Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Grab the key. Where is it? There's the magnet. Where's the body? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The fuck? What the fuck? Am I gonna get squashed? No, there's the key. There's the key. Go, 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 go. Quick. Yep, we're good. Okay. Deal with that later. To the door, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Move out of the way. Did I get it? Did I get it? I wasn't paying enough attention. Hang on. Did I even get it? Stats, plans, keys. Yes, I did. Maintenance tunnel, I think. Yeah! Okay. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five. Oh four, shit. Oh bloody hell, what the fuck? Three, two, oh. one. Fuck! Oh I see. I nailed them. They do not give a fuck. Shoot the bed. Oh god. Oh god, I'm in the bog. Help, 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 help! Oh. Shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. Don't do that! It's gonna explode on my feet! Ow, 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 ow. I am not good at this game. Hang on. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five, four, Bloody hell, that's loud. Three, two, one. Okay. Holy shit. Sorry about that, chat. I could barely hear a word. That was stupid loud. Okay, so we grabbed the key card to keep moving up the vent. Right. So, let's get to the door. So this is the door to the very top of the station where apparently my brother is? And I think back up to the... the key that... Ooh. Supplies. Hang on. Ooh, make it. Hold on. Make it. Supply crate. Another make it. Banana peel. Cookies. Ooh. Can I eat them? What's that? Water? Green tea. Thank you, Mental Chaos. Right, here we go. 
Here's the key. Load. Cargo tunnel. Restricted access. See Anders Klein in the magnetosphere control room. Oh, fuck. Okay. I take it Alex doesn't know about this. A weaver has been in here. We own we thought there was only one of them in the containment unit. Multiple mimics must have come together to form a new weaver. What happens if I touch it? Oh! What's happening? Don't let them do this to you. Pretty. So what the fuck is it doing? I mean, I thought it was like a spider weaving a web, but... Is it crafting a brain? No neurons, Alex said, remember? The entire type in ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But... We're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. Neurons, I'm guessing. It's their equivalent. It's what it's building. It's what the weaver is building. Okay, don't get in the, in the way of that. Where the fuck am I? Cargo tunnels. Hang on. Floor up, floor down. Go up to the executive level. That way. I can hear whispering. You hear that? Weaver. It's going to try and do to me what it did to the prisoner, I assume. What will work on it? What's its weakness? Fuck, fuck. Doesn't seem to be interested in me. Don't get smacked by one of these. I can hear them speaking whenever I touch that stuff. Thank you. has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam? He's right. These things... Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. Alright? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. 
I'm heading there now. I can hold myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Mica, get safe, then call. Interesting. So, that lady, that chief engineer lady, so the chief of security is still alive. The chief engineer apparently is someone who I was in a relationship with. Morgan was. Apparently when they went frosty with each other. So not only are they still alive, but they're utilizing the PA system to communicate. Alex is presumably no longer in control. Something about the reactor core. Power core? Being damaged? Okay, that's good at least. There are still some survivors. No, that's bad at least. There are still some survivors. We have to destroy this entire station. What is this? What am I looking at? It's an organism, but what is it? A dead weaver? It must have been in one of these transport pods when it was smashed? Skak eels? Eels? What the fuck? Grim. Okay, we're here. Okay, so, we are here, are we here for the data itself? So, travel to the Arbor, uh, Arboretum. Right, I'm, yes, I'm trying to, get to, trying to get to the data processing facility, so I'm trying to find my half of the self-destruct key. I'll check these, the terminals to see if Alex, my brother, is still here, along with his security personnel and two gardeners, apparently. However... I'll pick this up next time, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, so, yeah, fucking hell. This organism is spreading out of control. We have to blow up the station. I'm not so sure if my AI voice friend thing can be trusted. And it turns out that I was helping this corporation perform really, really fucked up experiments on a captured weaver, a type of exotic alien thing discovered in, 19, in the 1960s, back during the alternate version of the Cold War. Okay. So by the sounds of it, yes, we have to blow the station the fuck up. We have to try and kill every single one of these creatures uh, before we risk them reaching Earth. So, thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Mental Chaos and Stromy, Taylor, Polynom and Eol, and Boltrauma and Dritz. Thank you sincerely, folks. So, on the YouTube front, I'm still working on Holdfast Bullshittery on its uh, second week of four. Uh, alas, I should be on minute two. By the end of this week, I need to be on minute 5 out of 10. Um, unfortunately, I'm still on minute 1, so my progress is not great. So I need to do, I need to pull my, yeah, yeah I need to pull my finger out and get back to work as, as yeah, as much as I can and uh, try and pick up the pace. Right. Let me have a look and see if any of my clan mates are doing anything you might want to watch. Thank you, Centurion. Thank you. Let me have a quick look. So... Oh, quite a few of them are. One moment. So, in the clan, in the ZF clan, uh, we have Tom, ZF Tom, playing Conan. Mag is also playing Conan. Yuki is doing Death Stranding. And Smeagol is doing Battlefield Five. Quite a selection. Let me leave you in the company of Yuki this time. He's doing Death Stranding. He seems to be driving around in a truck in a wasteland, approaching a clean-looking building for some reason. I'll let him explain. This is ZF Yuki. Have a lovely evening, folks. All the best.